Hey guys, um, I usually don't do many other reviews other than um, like lights and stuff, but this is actually pretty interesting. I thought it might be interesting to share with you guys. Uh, among other fun stuff I use, I uh, have fun in sometimes in the backyard, sometimes in, and stuff, but um, this is something I got a while ago. This was a, is a Vigilante uh, air pistol from Crossman. And it's not bad, pretty well made. It's just like it's kind of like a revolver and stuff. Use a CO2. Um, do I use it very much? Yeah, I use it every so often just for fun. I, I do more archery than air gun shooting, anyways. But I figure I'd do a quickie review on this one. Reason why is because I just made some mods to it, you know, in terms of making it a little easier to use. When you buy this gun, right, this air gun from your Walmart or or Amazon or whatever else you buy this thing. It's meant not really a firearm, but what it does is basically it's a just propels little BBs or pellets um, about 400 feet per second to a target. So you get little clips and stuff. But I just saw it because it actually works pretty well in terms of um, just simple to use. That's the main the main thing. Now this is you know if it, it feels pretty heavy, uh, but this front part, it's all polymer, it's just plastic, and, or rugged plastic, and this is metal, and this is, of course, these shells are plastic too, but just the frame, it's all metal anyways. Um, use the CO2 in case, you know, people, I, I know I have other viewers who are actually not in the U.S., but just use the standard CO2 cartridges. These are like, I think, um, I don't know, these are 18 grams, or, or what grams these were, but anywho. You can buy these anywhere, um, and you can buy it online anyways, but it's just neat. They actually changed it so that it actually looks tactical. This is probably a long time ago where they changed it. You know, I owned this thing for a long, long time. Another interesting thing is that the barrel is actually rifled. As you can see there's little lines in there. Rifle, rifling, and you know, when I owned a Daisy Air rifle, it was really neat to actually have it rifled. Because it basically turns the little pellet around until it, um, it's like this whole James Bond movie, if you actually watch the intros to some of those old James Bond movies, they have this little rifled barrel thing, and that's what, exactly what it is. It basically makes these little pellets, um, usually lead ones, not not these steel ones, you know, turn around and, and basically spin to get better accuracy. But the fun part was that it, the fact that it's pretty neat. It has a good weight and just good for target practicing it, you know, indoors or whatever, to shoot against a telephone book or, a well, I think you guys should use a lot more safety when doing that, but you can shoot it, you know, in indoors and basically just make sure you be very, very careful. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Please practice safe shooting. Um, this is definitely not a toy. It's meant for, you know, young adults. Mm -hmm. But long story short, it was really interesting because, you know, the fact that it's actually well designed and well made and it has a ratcheting, um, rushing clip, which is neat. And really, I have no CO2 in this, by the way. But the fact that it accurately changes the ratcheting is good. It actually came with two clips, actually. One was meant for BBs, which was a six shooter. It only has held six. And this one was actually meant for um, pellets, lead pellets. With the one, the point one one no point one seven caliber pellet. But what I did, I was just basically said, okay, the six. I just shoot BBs because they're cheaper, and BBs apparently fit into this thing. It's the same caliber, and as you can see, you know, it holds it. It shoots right. I'm not sure if it'll wear out my, you know, this this thing more, but otherwise, it's basically 12 shots. 12 shots of BBs, and I don't have to reload. Um, and just throw another clip in, and it's pretty fast. Just loads like this, basically goes over the, the ratcheting part. These little teeth actually go towards this part, which is ratcheting. So you pull the trigger, it just keeps on moving the next one up, and it's already designed so that it'll, it'll fit it. I can't find my six-shot uh, BB holder clip, but who cares? I have a 12-shot, but have I ever used this in a long time? Not really, because I really don't have much time to play with this anymore. Uh, but long story short, what I did do to this was I got some whiteout, and, or, or any liquid paper stuff. It's just very temporary. What I do is I actually marked... Um, these sights come in black, and you really can't see much of anything, especially the, the one on the on the muzzle. You can't really see it. So what I did was I actually just used a little bit of whiteout and just 
paint it a little bit, a little dot there so I could see it at night or when it's dark because usually by the time I get home it's pretty dark and I just marked it so that, actually I could probably do it right now because it came off. I've been using it for years um, by just using a little bit of whiteout to do it. But this little bit of, this little mod actually makes it a lot easier to shoot with this gun. Um, just because it's, you can actually see the sights. Otherwise you really can't. So I just put a little dot there, just so they can see where the heck it is I'm shooting. So it's a lot more clearer. See? A little dot. Um, of course I should really do a better job of doing that, but like I said, it just came off and I figured I'd show you guys too. Um, there you go. But just a little dot, you wipe off the excess and then uh, you're good. There you go. So what I did for the front though, was I could I put a white dot there as well, but in addition, I got some glow-in-the-dark paint. This is actually nail polish. So, found this at a 99 cent store and it's pretty neat. You, It glows in the dark. So you just put your light to it, like, your LED light to it, give it a few shines, and then it actually stays bright, brightly lit. Even if you didn't, it's actually pretty bright by itself. You know, that's a, like the Hunter Hunter orange bright. So overall, not bad. You could still shoot, and I usually shoot usually when, you know when I get home, um, just for fun. But now anymore. But since I've been doing YouTube videos, what the heck? I might as well you know do a quick review of this as well as um, you know this quick little mod of putting whiteout on the sights so I could see. So actually you could see down the sight and aim and focus, you know, and shoot, so that you could know where the heck you're shooting at night. But the fact that I painted this orange, it's easier to spot whether or not you're aligned or not, which is good. Anywho, that's just a quick review of this. Um, just a few simple things. I haven't really modded this 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 um, this air pistol. Really, really cool. Um, I'm thinking of probably getting another one to mod, but you know, it depends. It depends if there's any viewership for this stuff. Um, but I just think it's a really nice pistol. Definitely not a toy. You know, definitely meant for young adults. Um, but it's pretty inexpensive to shoot because you're shooting mostly BBs and CO2. The most expensive part is not the BBs, but the CO2, which could cost anywhere from 50 cents all the way to 70 something cents, depends on where you bought it. Uh, but I just buy it by the Toy 5 pack and stuff, and it's, it's all good. You know, it's always good to have CO2 cartridges lying around. Um, but yeah, I'll probably do some more reviews of air pistols. I'm not sure if that's, you know, I, I probably see some on YouTube, but I figured it's I don't know. It just seems like fun to buy modify this thing and make it either, you know, a little different. But I don't really shoot it very much. It just basically sits there all day and not on my desk, but you know, it just sits in my drawer or in my in my uh, locked cabinet. But I don't have any kids around, so anywho. Long story short, if you do have any firearms, please keep them safe. Keep it locked up and not when accessible to kids, and definitely not loaded. Um, but yeah, just this quick showcase of what I of the Vigilante um, Crossman Vigilante pistol. It's not bad. Pretty neat, well designed, um, and pretty hefty. Um, but it's like sixty or seventy bucks online or whatever. Uh, but I bought it for fun, and you know, I just use it once. Probably, well, I haven't used it for a while. But long story short, it's pretty fun to use, and pretty neat. If you get it for cheaper than that, that's pretty cool. Uh, but just some little insight on those sites, you know, they're all black when they when you buy it. So painting them a little bit of white out makes a big difference when you try to spot and and target something. You know, you're, I'm thinking maybe painting all of them either green or red or whatever. It's like Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, but very cool gun, very neat, pretty well weighted, um, pretty hefty. But yeah, I'm sure other people mod this thing. Anywho, thanks for watching, guys. Um, they sell clips everywhere. You know, you can get them online three, four, like I think for like ten bucks or something. I don't know. But long story short, really interesting little air gun just for fun for hobbyists. But definitely shoot safely, you know, and you know, and be careful. Be careful out there. But yeah, have fun, guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more, and please leave some comments on the in the comments part if you want to see more mods to this, or if you want to see more air guns and stuff like that. I'll be happy to basically make some videos on it. Okay, thanks a lot. See you next time. Subscribe. Bye-bye.